It's weird how Einstein's theories are related to medicine and health. What's more strange is how he obtained his knowledge from great philosophers back in the time like Pythagoras and Aristotle. Einstein believes that the vibration rate of a substance is the thing that determines its density. A slowly vibrating substance is considered a physical object that we can see and touch, whereas a substance which vibrates at the speed of light or more is energy that we cannot see or touch. To understand this, think of water at room temperature. The atoms are not vibrating as quickly. We are able to see and touch water. But once we add energy in the form of heat, the atoms start vibrating quickly and the physical form of water changes to air, which is a non-physical and a higher state of the same substance that we cannot see or touch. Einstein thinks that light is energy and color is the interaction of energy and matter. We tend to see the blue sky, for example, because light coming from the sun strikes the air molecules, which absorb all of the colors in the light spectrum and reflect the blue color. When light strikes at a different angle, the atoms in the sky reflect red. That's why sunrise and sunset look red. Ancient Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, and other great scientists up till this moment believe in chromotherapy or phototherapy, which is healing the human body with color. This knowledge was made by Hermes Trismegistus, as ancient Greeks call him. He is considered a god by ancient Greeks and Egyptians. And now, we consider him a prophet for his limitless contributions to the spiritual and physical well-being of humans. After him came a lot of scientists and physicians like Aristotle, Avicenna or Ibn Sina, and many bright-minded scientists that continued using this knowledge till today. Newtonian concepts view the human body as a machine, ignoring the spirit and mind. Therefore, if a part of this machine is not working properly, it can be fixed or replaced. However, Einstein's approach deals with a human body not as an assemblage of chemical parts, but as a total, complete system operating in harmony with electromagnetic fields and energy of the universe. All organs, cells, and atoms exist as energy. Each of our energy centers vibrate in harmony with a frequency of colors. Any blockage or disturbance in energy balance results in a disease, whereas restoring the appropriate energy or rerouting it brings the cells back to harmony and function. In 1979, Alexander Choss was able to convince jail directors in Seattle, Washington to paint the walls of the jail pink. He observed that the violence and aggressive behavior among the prisoners was greatly reduced. Designers of great restaurants make sure to use a great combination of colors that stimulate appetite, like red and yellow for example, and avoid the color blue because it seems to shut down the appetite. In modern medicine, chromotherapy or phototherapy has been approved as an effective method in treating cancer. Jaundice is a condition that primarily affects the newborns. This is because they don't have a fully developed liver. It may affect the adults if they are having liver problems. This condition results in the buildup of the yellow pigment bilirubin in the tissues of the body during the sclera of the eye. A healthy functional liver should be able to get rid of this pigment, but once the liver is not functional or yet fully developed, this condition arises. In ancient times, they used to treat this by putting certain colors of fabric on the skin or getting sun exposure. It's hard for us to understand nowadays how light or energy could influence a biological or a chemical problem. But after digging into the science, everything seems to be clear. Studies show that putting babies in those incubators can allow blue light to interact with bilirubin molecules, breaking them and splitting them into water-soluble molecules that can be easily flushed out of the body. Obviously, chromotherapy and phototherapy are underrated. But after seeing such great minds talk about it and use it, and most importantly its effective applications, we can say that this is a traditional and yet a new dimension to medicine that could change a lot of things around. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family for the maximum benefit. Stay healthy and see you soon.